Okay, everyone, welcome back to more Muppet Monster Adventure. I'm here with Ratchet Five, and today we're going to go into the River Vile, which is actually a very unpleasant place if you didn't know. No, uh, it's very, it's very vile. And it? the vile hag, yeah, <laughs> you know, from the Crass Wiki, yeah. Oh, oh, oh so okay. yes, this is the River Vile, and it doesn't. I guess it kind of fits into the forest theme, but not not too much. If you know, if yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. Well, there's there's no tree. There's not not many trees around. There's like one tree yeah. over there, and and that's it. So. Yeah, that's true. And then we've got these guys here with the guns again. Those uh, yeah. you know, those guys, the camper guys from the other part. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, Riff of Vile, friendly, this, friendly bullets. Yeah. This this level takes place obviously. Um, there's like a massive river in the middle of the level, and you have to see you've got these like these like platform here like around the side, and you just have to like. Don't go in the water because the current actually, as you can see there, there's like actually a current in the water that actually, yeah. You know, right, let's talk to Peppy and see what he has to say. Watch out! Watch out! There are some dangerous. Yeah, he's just, he's just saying what I was telling you before. So pay attention while you're I didn't even water. need to go talk Otherwise, to Peppy. Swept away to some place other than yeah. Here, so um, you know how like in Egypt we got like the River Nile. This is like this is the River Vile. So basically, yeah. it's like it's, it's like the... too vile though. No, no, you know, no. There's quite a happy level actually. You know, and there's you know quite there's nothing, nothing really too too nothing really too difficult to like die on and stuff. Just yeah. I mean, some it's a bit of some annoying enemies, but they're not too annoying. So yeah, those rabbit actually they they remind me of the um the guys from Dark Passage in Spyro. You know those um the the things that like with the you know the lamp guys that they make bigger yeah. and smaller. Yeah, those rabbits yeah. that I just killed before. Oh, and we can't yeah. get up there yet. Yep, yeah, and then that's that's another Spyro popper by the way. And then you could push that minecart, but um, um, but you're not you're not doing that yet. No, no, no. I have to go around and um. I, th I think you have to go and I, c I can't remember what you have to do now. Nah. Okay, I think you have to. Yeah, you have to push it with the Kerr monster ability. But we'll come back there actually because we need to do something else with that as well. We need to um uh use. The I, I don't know if you saw. There's actually a beaker in this level, and you actually have to flame him. Or well, not flame him, but warp glove him, and then he actually opens something up, which you need the minecart to do. But we'll go do that a little later. So yes, there's so, a current so here, and you have to watch out for these uh, puffer fish. Yeah, what were you saying? So so here you're at, you're actually like jumping on the river on purpose to get down. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that must be what you have to do there. Yeah. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, so it's not nothing. To, no, it's, the concept isn't too difficult, my friend. Okay. Yeah. Watch out for these guys here again. There's some big guys standing in the way there. Yeah, and we got more of those. No, no, no <laughs> Angus. Yes. Uh, Angus, doesn't that remind you of um like the uh the Nazis world levels of Spyro One? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They do actually. Those um, that that um, metal uh, tunnel thing you're talking about, aren't you? The yes, yes, yes. Floor. Yeah. And as yes. the B, first letter of bonus, and there is our first Muppet token as well. But I'm gonna hit that thing first. See, oh yeah, you don't need the Kerr monster ability. What was I talking about? No. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought you needed it too. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't the be really? Yeah. What's up with this? This is like a very strange part here. This here. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting like. I, I was doing this before, actually. I, I, I've haven't played this level before, and yeah, you're supposed to. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. I'm not. I'm not too sure what you're supposed to do there. I yeah, guess yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll guess I'll find out in a bit. I'll come back there. Maybe I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. Right. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. This, this area reminds me a bit of Harikos, actually, and a bit of actually a bit of Nasty's loot as well. Nasty's loot. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. Oh, here we go. There's another Rizzo here with another uh, Muppet token. There we go. That was it. Yeah, those Rizzos are very easy. Easier than the um, other guys, the uh, egg yeah. 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 They probably could have made it a bit harder, maybe a bit faster or something would have been good, but... A bit yeah. lazy. Yeah, they, they, they get lazy, yeah. Okay, so that's 2,635. I, I, I don't know how many more there's left to get. Like, it doesn't tell you, like, how many asses. It just gives you, like, a... Like, Spyro 2, how it gives you, yeah. like, total... Thing. It doesn't like give you like a level total. It gives you a overall game total of things of evil energy. Yeah, but it, obviously you can look it up in your inventory if you want to. Yeah, it takes too long though. Okay. Yeah, well, one one thing this game doesn't do is when you get like all your Muppet tokens in a level, it doesn't like tell you. It doesn't say um, you know how it's Spyro Two and stuff. It's like nah, 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 and all that kind of yeah. Jacks. It doesn't do it this game. Oh, here all we go. Number one of your favorite Brother games, man. the Simon ones. Yeah, this, this is the Simon challenge. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Okay. Alright. Alright. Blue, red, 
green, yellow, okay. We've got 30 seconds this time, come on, can we do it? Blue, red, green, yellow, okay. Well, that, that was the easy one, so. Yeah. See. The next one I think has five, green, Green, yellow. yellow, red, yellow. Blue, green, yellow, red, yellow. Blue, green, yellow, red, yep, uh, yellow. Okay. Red, red green, green, blue, blue, red, red, red yellow, green, green, blue, red, green, blue, red. Red, blue. green, blue, red, I think. Yellow, green, right? Oh, I couldn't trick you, Angus. Oh, yeah. okay, good. Thank God. I really hate the. Oh, okay, I thought there was another one there for a second, but I guess not. And that it would be another Muppet token. You did it. You did it. So get your Muppet token he sounds like again. Peter Law there. He sounds like Engine there. You know, Engine from Crash Bandicoot is actually um, a parody of Peter Law. No, I didn't know that. Oh. You probably did know that. Who's Peter Law? Is that the guy who voiced like Ren and Stimpy or something? No, no, no. Peter Law is. um... He's been in a lot of stuff. He plays like. You know, that typical like. Uh, who is Peter Law? I can't remember what he's from, actually. He's from a lot of stuff. He's from, like, you know, he, he, play, he usually plays, like, the, um, the, 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 the guys, like, so, the main guy's villain sidekick, you know, who's that, that kind of character. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I don't know who he is. Uh, the guy oh. from Ren and Stimpy is actually Billy West from, um... Oh, is it, does he vo voice him? Oh, okay. Yeah, he voices, he voices, voices all the characters in that show. Oh, that's interesting, okay. Right, Billy, uh, yeah. Yeah, from Futurama, and yeah. from uh, other stuff, as well. Yeah. He's also from... Yeah, yeah, no, I, I don't know what else he's from. Yes. Well, um, anyway, this level, um, I found that it's like, it's not too hard to die on or anything like that, because, um, yeah, there isn't that, there isn't anywhere, like, that you can really fall off in this level. Yeah. Like, this level's a bit of like a, a clusterfuck of like a lot of different like terrains, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, like you start like in some kind of like a rivery area, then you move to more like modern like machinery type based yeah. stuff. Yeah. I, I think that I think that what they they meant with this level is, is that like um it's really industrial like like what they did was they chopped down a whole lot of wood and made it into like yeah a okay I, I thought that was down there I was, I was just checking because I thought that one had dropped off there. Oh okay 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 fair enough. Yeah, because like uh, if you look really closely, uh, all these like mountains and stuff are actually made out of wood and just like grasses. Oh grow. yeah, there we go there. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going now? You'll see. Oh, I'll back up here. Okay. Yeah, I have a hinkling. Yeah. I have a hinkling that I'm supposed to karate chop this uh thing here because I had to karate chop the other ones. Yeah. Well, I, I thought that's pretty obvious, Angus. Like. But look, you you. you See, see, look, you have to stand, like, back a bit from it. Like, what the hell is up with that? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, it's a bit weird, but you, oh, you, should, you should still know it, like, the first time you try. Because, like, every, everyone else, everything else, yeah, you can. Do you reckon that, that um, rabbit had escape claws? Huh? What? No, there's, like, a, a giant rabbit with claws. I said, do you think it has oh. escape claws? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's the, here's the beaker from this level. And as you see here, here, here opens up this door here, which you climb up on the minecart to get into. And, and apparently here, they had, they had to make sure that they show him the, the fact that he he turns around and flies off over the mountain. Into the mountain, actually. Like, yeah, into, it, it, it's, into the mountain, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why is Beaker so oversized in this game? Like, he's like, so much taller than everyone yeah. else for some reason. And yeah, the TV show Bunsen Honeydews is like taller than him. Yes, another life. And another Muppet token. The Beaker also has a very hard head in this game as well. Oh, there we yeah. go. Look at that tricky stuff down there. Oh, yeah. yeah everyone watching, you, might, you make sure you don't forget the, those bits of um, Muppet crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't forget that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cry chopping this door now. Yep. Don't know how I got there so fast, but yep. Okay, now we're gonna kill this guy with escape claws. Yep. And yes. this other guy with escape claws. Look at these escape claws. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, escape claws is the next level after this yeah. level. Yeah. And there's a bit of a dead end there, but. Yep. So I take it we have to fly over here. Yes, I'm I'm correct. I am correct. Not him. I am. And it's another Muppet token up here and the letter U. Oh, well done. You found the letter U. You complete me. Oh, and that's the end of the level. 
Not that that what matters. That? Well, I guess that does matter because there's probably, probably stuff in there. Grave matters? Yeah, <laughs> grave matters, yeah. yeah. So this isn't a very challenging or long level for that matter either. Ah, I'm uh, doing well. It's, it, I, I, I'm pretty sure this has only taken 10 minutes, so yeah. 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 So, um. Uh, that's um, the river vial for you. Not not so vile as they make you think. Oh yeah, I have to go back and get the bonus. Oh, yeah. You? Yeah. Are we are you gonna go with the bonus buy, Andrew? What? Oh, uh, there's a yeah, there's a TV show called Bargain Hunt, and and what they do is they go around to like you know, you know those um like markets and stuff and buy a bunch of shit, and then they like go to auctions and see how much profit they can make off it, and they like, usually have like some like valuist or some antiquist. Uh, with them, and he, he oh, like, like, picks something, and it's called a bonus buy, and they, if they, like, make a lot of profit, then they can, like, not go with it, because they might make a loss on that, or something. That's what's... Oh, called. okay, I see. Yeah, it's, it's a great show on 7-2, you know, the channel for old people. Yeah, so, so it's like Antiques Roadshow. Yeah, so, but it's actually, like, a challenge, like, you actually go to the auctions and, like, sell the shit you buy. Oh, I see, okay, so... I don't know why I did that, that was a massive waste of time. Yeah, it was. I was so do you watch it often? Uh, yeah, I watched it at my grandparents' house. I watched it last oh. night, actually. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Here we go, well, back to this nasties uh, world thing here. Yep. Oh, yeah, and uh, um, I, I was going to go see uh, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, and I found out the only screening was 3D, so I decided not to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you found out that the only screening had uh, Nicolas Cage with a massive receding hairline, so you decided not to go. Oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I only I only go watch my Nicolas Cage movies when they don't have a re receding hairline. <laughs> His hairline's always different in every movie he's in. Oh uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so that's the River Vial, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. As you see, that it's got a lot of stuff to offer you, the valued player. Um, in the next part of this Let's Play, we'll head on to uh, Escape Clause, which is one of the more annoying levels in the game. Yeah, so they gave you a quite a pretty, you know, easy and fun level before going to the, you know, the annoying as hell level. Yep, see you, goodbye. So